Welcome to From the Bank, and it's July. Mm -hmm. July edition. Mm -hmm. July edition. So the rivers are back open. Um, many still waters, the resident fish have stopped spawning. Yes, we're sort of past that hurdle, but it's still quite hot and humid, isn't it? It is very hot and sticky. And we haven't managed our first adventure on the river yet. We haven't, but we've enjoyed seeing reports of plenty again this month. Yes. With all manner of species being caught. Um, even some, if the humid weather. Some big barbel as well already. We'll get to that later, we but will. exciting. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, the humid weather, random thunderstorms have made conditions hard. Would you call it, have you actually, we haven't had any really decent thunderstorms yet though, have we? A little rumble and a bit of light then. Yeah, there was a Saturday night, I think when there was quite a bit of a flash sort of flood and storm. And I did know I that, sleep through it? I think you probably did. <laughs> and there was a few, um, a few lakes and places around here that had a bit of trees come down because of it. Ah, uh, okay. But uh, Just yeah, missed it then, mate. we did, we definitely did. But our Hinders Bait community continues to grow, mate. Absolutely. Month on month. Plenty of new members, so welcome aboard. Definitely. Um, plenty of room for some new ones. Always. So if It's you... not a capped group, it's relatively open and everyone's welcome, as long as you play nice. Yep, and it's a welcoming group as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a great, great uh, bunch of people, isn't it? It is. Anglers from all over the place with lots to offer and share. Yep, no, no stupid questions, no stupid answers to questions either as so far, which is good. Um, Absolutely. You know, great place to share your experiences, ask any fishing related questions that you may have um, and of course get the opportunity to win free bait. Free bait Mark, loves free bait. Free hinders bait I should probably add. We should say that but yeah. it is a hinders group so it, it should is. be self explanatory but yeah plenty of uh, plenty of hinders bait on offer yeah. and discount codes and Definitely. stuff like that mate. Um, and th there's also, uh, that we'll talk, get to in a little bit, but there's a competition this month to win 10 kilos of uh, pellet yep. combo. And some ellipse oil. In a, some 250 mils of ellipse oil as well. So um, On the back of Liam's trip, that's coming up in the video. So I think yes. that's like 35 plus quid's worth. So stay tuned and find out how to win that one. Yep, we've had, talking about questions, we've had plenty posted on the community this month. Yeah. Um, quite a random range of them as well. There's been best bod mix for Big Bream. Yep. Um, some bait tips for the rivers just before they opened as well. Yeah. And um, some questions about ellipse pellets. Can they be used for carp as well as barbel? No, exactly. Um, which the answer is a definite yes. 100% and to be honest quite a few carp anglers have been using those for years. Even if it, you know, maybe not solely on their own but I mean certainly in conjunction with, you know, one of the combos or just yeah. adding it with a few other bits like boilies and crumbs and chops and stuff like that. You know, particles but I mean obviously Liam's recent hit at St John's. As we'll get into later, again, a big, big ellipse yeah, man. So. definitely. And one of our young anglers, um, Taylor, uses a lot of ellipse oil in his yes. um, his 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 approaches to carp fishing as well. So yeah. I like to I use mainly millet pellet combo in my um, solid bags, but I do put some small ellipse pellets in there as well because yeah. I think that gives you a real edge as well. That definitely oozing flavour. So if you joined us um, for last month's from the bank. Yep. You will have seen we offered a set of three of the new stabilised particles to two of our new subscribers. We did. And they have been picked at random. And this month those winners are Liam Thackway and Greg Hall. Well done, guys. So drop Steve a, Steve a message and he'll get, his, get your prize out to you as soon as he can. Absolutely. So, Steve June, been hot and sticky. We've been out a couple of times. Still my birthday month, Mark. It is, it is. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we have. It's been a bit of a struggle. Like I said, there's, there's been a lot of hot weather. I think the last three weeks has been a bit of a grueler. But, you know, we, we still went out there. We knew it was going to be up against the elements and that. But, yeah, we, we, we did our best. We went to Marsh Farm. Yep. And Linear. We did. And we didn't blank on either of those, so we successful. Didn't. Yep, so we, we met up with um, some friends of ours, John and Richie, that we'll come to a little bit later as well. A dynamic duo. At Marsh Farm in yep. Godalming. Um, but yeah, so today you join us from the banks of my carp syndicate, which is Aspen Lake in the water parks. Uh, Steve's come down, visited me just for the day. Um, I'm fishing here just on a day session with my eldest daughter. Um, we're targeting the carp. Um, we've managed to avoid everyone so far. Done pretty well there, mate. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with myself, really. But um, although I have seen one when I was coming across the bridge, so we we'll popped that up. Did. 
they're definitely still in here and there's, yeah. there's quite a few decent ones to go at isn't so there there goes my excuse for not catching <laughs> cheers buddy I, I saw one <laughs> <laughs> so um you know thank you to bob and mary owners of aspen lake for allowing us to film here today we really do appreciate it i think we have to say that you get spoiled down here mark Mary came round earlier and there was a massive chocolate cake in a tin. Yeah, she uh, spoils Shannon rotten. <laughs> uh, she bought a nice lolly round for my and daughter. And a lolly. Uh, yeah, and a, and a whole chocolate cake. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely not complaining. Well, we know why Mark keeps coming back, <laughs> yes. even if it isn't for the fish. <laughs> so, talking about food, Steve, but fish food, I think. Yes. So, what's been happening in the bait factory? Still very, very busy. Um, obviously, like the the stabilised jars have been very very popular, so we're we're flirting with obviously a couple of different concoctions, I suppose, for those. See which ones take, and you know, see which ones you know get a bit more demand. Yep. I mean, the hemp and the mini maize has obviously been the most popular one because I think in in general that's the go to. Tried spot and tested, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but there will be a couple of other sort of variations. Obviously, we've got like the buckwheat and chopped tiger nibs, uh, mini munga, monster munga, salted maize. Uh, we're looking at a sort of milky maze as well at the okay. minute, so plenty of options. Obviously, stay tuned in the group. Uh, we'll, we'll post a few more up shortly. But yeah, uh, yeah they're now, like I said, the jar's been very busy. Obviously, all the lips and everything's back in stock now. Still got an issue with the hemp, unfortunately. Uh, my supplier has sort of messed us around a bit, but um, you know, I, I think I said that last month. We've had a lot of samples come through, and the quality just isn't there. Um, so you know we're, we just don't want to sell that at the moment yeah. so we'd, we'd much rather be out of stock and wait for the premium crop to come through so still waiting on that so do apologize it's probably the first time in history that that's happened but uh, yeah un uncontrollable on the front yeah but again it's down to quality control buddy isn't it you don't yeah. want to put out an inferior product that no, people are just going to complain about there, so. there's loads like I said loads and loads of samples but I mean it's small it's dirty the, the giant stuff doesn't split and it's just not worth it we are looking at a slightly smaller one which is clean um, a sort of European one which we may introduce shortly if we can get some supply um, just to sort of give you guys some options because it is, is a nice seed it's just smaller yeah and uh, yeah hope for the uh, Chinese to come through soon mate yeah nice so um there's a Brad's done a brilliant review this month as well of, on the tutti frutti prop ups yes yeah classic um, yeah definite classic the original recipe yeah, there's, I mean, it's, you know, tutti frutti, 30 plus years of history. We've probably said it before. Um, you know, loads of people favour those. I think it's in most people's armoury now as a, a backup. And to be fair, I think in the last sort of few years, like recent years, I've seen more people using it during the summer months. So not yeah. just a winter bait, but, you know, utilising those higher tracks in, in the warmer months as well, Definitely. mate. Yeah, and so find out why it's Brad's go to bait. And um, Liam Hodges has done some um, a, another video on his ever yes. dependable <coughs> spot mix. He did, yep. And that so, was down Lenny, I think, the last time we found that. Yep, so what's in it and how he uses it. Um, you know, Liam has success pretty much everywhere he goes. Well, yeah. everywhere he goes. And um, Work ethic. Yeah. You know, obviously a man of many skills, but uh, yeah, no effort equals yeah. a reward, and he certainly puts Definitely. that in. Definitely. Like, Attention to detail is just something else. I've been yeah. lucky enough to fish and see Liam fishing a few times and uh, yeah he doesn't take that'll do it's, uh, no, it's no. got to be <coughs> spot on or it's done again the, the, like I said I mean the casting you know when it's just relentless you know a couple of them you sort of think oh that's just pretty good no it wasn't yeah. good didn't get the drop recast it you know and you just think yeah. I'm tired just watching yeah <laughs> and um, you may have seen the post of Liam's fishing video that we did at St John's recently that turned yeah. out to be an absolute session of a lifetime really red letter definitely so on the back of that we talked about a competition earlier yes we are running a competition to win a whopping 10k of um, pellet combo yep and 250 mils of the awesome ellipse oil which he used on that trip he did and pellets a great use mate he did one of the biggest hits he's had from St John's and yeah uh, help to count for his fourth UK 40. Yeah, so, yeah, fantastic Awesome session. prize. Yeah, so all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like and comment on the video for your chance to win. <coughs> we will put the link in the description below. We will. But, I mean, if you're failing that, just go to the Hinders Bait YouTube channel, check out, it will be the first video that pops up, but, yeah, just uh, St John's Linear uh, video, and, uh, yeah, comment on that and you'll be in with a shout. Yeah, two, two winners will be picked at random and we'll announce those in next month's update. So don't forget to check that one out. That's right. So um, moving on to what some of our customers have been up to. 
So Matthew caught some rarely caught commons on one of his club waters. Yes, yeah. Uh, seafood and plum wafters, I think. Yeah, no, he did very, very well, didn't he? Yeah, and he also got off to a great start on a new water he's been fishing as well, with some stunning scaly carp on his first visit. So well done, Matthew. He did, and I have to say, Matthew is part of the team as well. He is. So well done, Matthew. So Ryan, um, Ryan Elvin. Yep. Had a great session using seafood um, soaked pellet combo. Nice. Resulting in six carp, I believe, in just three hours. Top so angler, mate. Yeah, nice work. Great return. Um, Phil Mildenhall, doing really well on short Community, sessions. Community regular. Yep. Um, he's been on his syndicate using solid bags of um, seafood pellet yep. and washed out pink and yellow um, wafters with hook baits. Well done, mate. Yeah, doing really well. Um, Kenny Brunton spent 24 hours on the bank with his wife, Sarah, yep. who on that trip banked a new PB. So congratulations, Sarah. Well done, Sarah. It's great to see. Yeah, between them, they caught um, a number of carp up to £25, I believe. Yeah, did um, very some well. Some tench and even a little catfish. Yeah. <laughs> um, using various products from the carp range. Yeah. Uh, Nut365 and seafood doing the damage there. Well done, guys. Another great trip. They've, yeah. done a, they've done a few recently, haven't they? Yeah. I know they fish flaxons as well and do quite well down there, so... Good stuff. Top angling, well done, and uh, great news on the PB. Yeah. Um, some of our match anglers have been out in what can only be described as pretty difficult conditions. You know, they Very fish tough. at the worst times of day, don't they, these yeah. match anglers? And a short window to make it all happen as yeah. well, and it's, yeah. But they, you know, some of them in the team are doing really well. Alan Smith has been keeping his kids in pocket money, <laughs> uh, fishing Bonington and Man of Farm Leisure with some important section and overall match wins. Yes, he's been winning some pennies, so well done, mate. And um, Damien Green, uh, he's been fishing Anglin Trust Bonington Classic, yeah. uh, Method Feeder, Bomb, and uh, Pellet Waggler, just to just to keep his options open. A man um, of many skills. Definitely. He always seems to do pretty well. And does, does, does. That resulted in events. a second place. Yep. Um, he got another second place of finally, a, uh, I think it, he did really well fourth overall on a practice yes, for the yeah. Oakwood Canal League that starts yeah. soon as well. Yeah. Nice. He's, he's so, yeah. been doing very well. Very, very well. Um, competition time again, Steve. Being Another competition? Yeah. That's quite a few. There is. So Mark just springs these up. I do. I'm like... I'm quite good at spending other people's money. <laughs> I said at the start of this, Mark, how many competitions have we got? And he's like, well, actually, <laughs> not 100% sure, but uh, we're working out. So what are we doing? So um, every month we announce a Community Fish of the Month. Yes. Um, chosen at random from our customers. Yep. And this month we chose uh, Mark Boss. Yep. Uh, caught a lump of a mirror. Unusual tactic. <laughs> it was unusual tactics. He was using seafood pellet four inches below the surface. Yep. So pellet waggler style, but using an adapted spawn float. Interesting. After forgetting his surface kit. So adapt and overcome. Definitely. So well done, Mark. Trick. You win £40 bait bundle of your choice. Again, if you drop us a message and tell us what you'd like, and we'll ship out your prize. We will get that sorted for you. Well done, mate. So you know, don't forget to keep posting your catch reports on the community pages for your chance to win. Yeah, there's, uh, there's always ongoing comps, isn't there? there is. I mean, yeah, if, if something really does stand out, you know, we do a prize. You know, yep. it, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't matter if it's small. It doesn't matter what species it is. Just get involved. Yeah. You know, share the your, your angling experience because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Definitely. You know, we're building a community here and it's great to see and help as many people as we can and yeah yeah seeing those reports here and those stories it's, it's awesome it's rewarding it so is it's great to see yeah so, so next month if you're the lucky winner um you can choose a 40 pound hinders bait voucher yep so that um you can spend it on anything from the range it depends on your style of fishing really 100 percent. so um i have to do a quick apology whilst we're on this bit as well because last week I did mispronounce the winner's name, so I do apologise, Brian Hillis. Oh, Brian, it's not Hills. No, it's not. Hillis. Hillis, yeah. So uh, I do apologise again, Brian, but yeah. I hope I, you enjoyed I think your it, prize. He'll forgive us. <laughs> yeah, he will. He'll forgive us. He's out fishing. I think he's had a few from Sherwood as yeah, well. Yeah, I think he's been to Tar Farm as well. So we might see something. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, very good. So as, as me and Steve said, earlier this month, we met up with uh, Richie Martin and John McGough. We did. Um, at Marsh Farm Fisheries on Harris Lake. Tough old day, another hot one. 
It was. Without um, much cover. No, we were in search of monster crucian. Um, yep. John and Richie definitely did us proud. Always. I, I uh, have to admit that I came up a bit short. But you're cool. I did catch a crucian, but it, it wasn't the biggest in the pond. But It wasn't a blank, Mark. It definitely saved a blank. And we're set to go back at some point. We so are, yeah. Another redeem ourselves. Yeah. I think we do better in worse conditions. I think we do. Because every time we seem to go out in the summer, mate, when it's meant to be like at its easiest, you know, more fish moving, more fish yeah. feeding, we struggle. We do. I think maybe we just, you know, skip June or something. Yeah. Skip my birthday month. Just stick celebrate to fishing and... in the thermals and <laughs> keep to the winter fishing. But no, we'll be back. I mean, Marsh, Marsh Farm is, is a, a fantastic venue. And like I said, it's yeah. holds cruisings to over sort of four pounds, you know, former British record. I'm not yeah. sure if it still holds um, Yeah, yet. I don't know if it still is, but yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, monster cruisings. I'm still yet to get a three pounder, so I want one of those later on in the year. Yeah. But, you know, more than happy to catch two pound cruising. I mean, that's just yeah. epic, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. And we did um, interview both Richie and John on their fishing journeys. Yep. So watch out for those as we um, we put those up live over the coming weeks as well. Check out Dangling Days because they days. will be on there. Yep. Uh, John's is already set. So if you go over to our channel, click the Notify Me button, uh, you will get notified as soon as it airs. So yeah. be one of the first to see it. But I mean, you know, very, you know, good insight. It's only a quick fire thing. I mean, it's not John's live store or anything like no. that. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it gives us a little bit more insight into yeah. to his mindset and, yeah. and a little bit more about him, mate. Yeah, so. his favourite species, how he goes about fishing, yeah. how long he's been fishing. Yeah, he's had stuff. some incredible fish. Yeah, definitely, and, and fishing all over the world as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, talking about fishing all over the world, our vloggers have been out filming, so um, make Martin. sure you check out Martin Davis. Um, of his, you know, match and biggest fish winning trip to Lithuania. He did very well. I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that because I think I struggled to pronounce it. I was trying it earlier. <laughs> and I was like, look, look, no, Mark can say that bit because I get it wrong. But no, he's he's done a few separate single day sessions and posted those. So I think there's like yeah. three or four videos yeah. in total, isn't there? Definitely worth a watch. But, you know, uh, he awesome. fished the first ever um, deeper fish off carp masters. Yes. And um, yeah, like we say, he he won the match overall and got the biggest fish. So. Right, result. Fair play, yeah. So Top yeah, angler, definitely mate. worth checking out. Um, Danny Belfield, you know, it wouldn't be a wouldn't be an update without Danny being mentioned. He's been as busy as ever, uploading a number of vlogs. Every Friday, like I said, I mean, I don't know how he builds the content, Mark. I think we need more fishing time, That's, don't we? Yeah, definitely. We're struggling to get one a month at the moment, yeah. but he's he's out there doing it every single Friday and uploading new content. Yes, yeah, so he's and got, as we said before, massive array of um, you know different venues, yeah. different techniques, different yeah. methods, styles, species, the works. Yeah, so there's something there for everybody. There really yeah. is. Check that one out. Yeah. So um. Mark McCroll has been out catching some awesome canal carp as well. Not something you see much about? No, so check out his vlog. And I think he also has had a recent trip to France that is um, there to be shared as well. So, yep. so check that out. Absolutely, good viewing. Yeah, definitely. Um, members of the promo team, they have been out and about. Mr. Sherman. Yep. He's, he's been, been catching some nice fish on the, on the yeah. seafood again, mate. Yeah, nice some, dark common. Yeah very special fish really not the biggest in the pond but again just stunning fish aren't they like i said just to get out and, and catch something under the sort of circumstances and the sort of conditions mate yeah I'm just happy to be out yeah early in the, and i think earlier <coughs> in the month um stuart cooper yes and andy taylor did their version of the italian job yeah epic epic trip yeah and um Got some epic results when they were there as well. Yeah, there, there's obviously been a couple of catch uh, reports across social media. I do know there's quite a lot of filming as well. Hey, up, Mark's getting a call. I am, um, sorry. I'll it, just get rid of who that. is it, Mark? I don't know. That's the wife. He's Probably. in trouble. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> yeah, no, there's been quite a lot of catch reports across uh, social media. But um, there's still, I think, quite a lot of video content to come. Because I know Stuart's um, been in behind the scenes doing a lot of clips. Yes. Um, so I know there's, there's quite a bit of material on sort of TikTok and across like YouTube. Um, I have got a memory stick at work that I'm meant to be going through that I haven't quite got to yet, but I will. But yeah, I mean, if you want to round up what they had, you know, just uh, look at the... Uh, over 60 pound wasn't it the biggest yes uh, 63 pound two i for think stuart. for stuart yeah yep. and he also caught a 50 40s, some 40s yeah. some 30s some yeah. 20s yeah and a few smaller carp and i think andy himself had 26 takes or, yeah i think um numerous 20s 30s 
Um, yeah. I think he had two thirty sevens. And to be honest, I think you know conditions were again tough. Yeah, I, I think I, they were for the legs. Despite yeah. you know the the actual results that they had, conditions were not at its best. You know, it was very hot. Um, still, you know, some of the fish were sort of you know I'm guessing you know a bit lethargic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, what a trip. But Andy himself, I think he had carp up to fifty one pounds. He yeah. caught an enormous yeah. sturgeon twice. Yeah. yeah. And um, a black bass out of the lake as well, which is that, quite random. Was that on the seafood as well? Oh, quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all of the others were on the seafood, weren't they? Yeah, I they mean, were. They did yep. say, you know, it made a huge difference. Um, I think there, there was quite a bit more into, obviously, like the, the approach and the... Yep. Um, uh, if, if you look on the, like I said, their blogs, you know, it gives you a little bit more insight. Um, it wasn't, a, you know, fill it in and, and you're going to catch. It was, a, you had to work at it. Yep. You know, you had to be careful with your bait application and you know put a, put their plan in, into you know good use and i think they all started copying yes um and started catching on the back of it so yeah. you know a lot of attention to detail working yeah. extremely hard you know i've obviously known andy for a few years now and you know work ethic again it just doesn't stop no don't know where he gets the energy from but no. puts in 110 percent and you know even that fishing at his worst will generally try and figure it out. Especially and, after and the drive over there and things as well. Yeah, I'd want to sleep for a couple of days, yeah. I think. <laughs> and I, I think on, um, on the same side, on the same lake, on the other side of the lake, yeah. was um, another member of our community yes, as well, yeah. Gary, Gary Williams. Yeah. I think he had 15 fish. Yeah, he did, he did very well. I think he beat his PB twice, I think. Yes, yeah. Um, with carp yeah. to it, you know, over 40 pounds again. So, yeah. yeah, what a trip. I think Andy had helped him out with a bit of information. Yes. I think they were sort of obviously all working yeah. together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, what a session. That's yeah. the sort of thing you want to sort of try and record if possible, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, it's check out the um, social media content across um, TikTok, YouTube, and um, obviously the bits that we put up ourselves. Yeah. So, Thomas Pembleton has spent a lot of time on his new syndicate. He, he has been catching a few twenties off the mark already. Didn't yeah. take long, I don't think, no. mate. Good work, top angler, mate. And um, Brad, he's been out at Welford Pools. He has very nice venue. Has got some stunning fishing as well, hasn't it? Yeah, and all the fish are pretty stunning in there, aren't they? They're pretty yeah. special. I think they go up to around mid thirty now, or something like yeah. that. Definitely a few low thirties in there. Quite, I mean, the average in there's up a double twenty, something like that. Yeah. But loads of really nice scaly things. Um, but yeah, no, Brad's had a couple of uh, nice ones. Yeah, and he's been doing something a little bit different, isn't he? In the, yep. He's been. We saw that at, at Linnea, didn't we? He yep. was using uh, the method feeder on yeah. Tar Farm and had a couple from there. St John's, he went on to had a few more from there, and um, it's gone from those pits to sort of Welford. Um, slightly smaller, more tricky yeah. venue, and still catching on the method. He is. No, it's, it's definitely worth a try, isn't it? It's something that's 100%. overlooked. Yeah, no, definitely, mate. Well, I mean, as a match angler, you use it all the time. You know, yeah. little feeders, stuff like that. And it's a great alternative to solid PBA bags as well, isn't it? Just yep. Save some pennies as well. Definitely. But uh, yeah, it's been doing really well. And it's there is a little video up, Brad's yes. done on the Hinders Bait YouTube channel. So, I mean, it shows you how he loads it and what he does, etc., etc. So, if you're interested in having a look at that or learning a little bit more yeah. about big method feeders for a big carp, then check that out. Yeah, how he pre soaks all the pellets as well, just to get maximum attraction on them as well. So, Definitely. yeah, good stuff. Definitely check it out. Um, our young anglers, they've been out doing what they do best spending as much time on the bank as possible. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Yeah, um, Ralph Apper, I think he's fast becoming one of the top rods at Flacklands. He is, he's very good. He had 29, I think, Yeah. yesterday, I think it was. And using various methods, you know, feeder, pellet wagon yeah, and things yeah. as well, whatever he needs to do, he gets on it. I think he's trying to give me a run for the money, mate. Definitely. I'm not sure if I've got the energy to keep up anymore. I don't think, you are. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think there's any question Youngsters about that. Youngsters are too. absolutely full of beans, aren't they? Definitely. Take all your knowledge and then uh, make you look bad. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Taylor Shannon, she's been, uh, he's been, sorry, I say she's because my daughter Shannon's with me today. So uh, yeah, I apologise for that. So Taylor's been out he fishing has. various venues. He caught a monster crucian. You were saying about your three pound know, target. three pound. What an so absolute So he's beaten result. you on that one as well. Standard. But he's been catching bream, how, carp. How, how many people have had a three pound cruise? I know. There? It's, it's still what a, a really, start. still a really special fish, isn't it? Yeah, no, very oh, special a mon fish. monster. And like I said, I'll be happy with a two pounder, mate. Yeah, I mean, a couple of the places that you know I used to fish, like Plumbers Pit and stuff, growing up, they had like half pound cruising in there. Yeah, they had, like little plate 
gold thing and you just think wow that's an awesome fish and then you hear of these two three pounders and you yeah. think christ that that's that's something else that is and the fight with accretion is is so you know you can tell can't you as soon as yeah. you hook one it's so different to anything else as well yeah can be finicky little buggers but um and then you get the nerve awesome. straight away as well because you know it's a half decent fish and you, yeah. you're playing it really carefully as well but yeah fantastic speaking result. from the man that's had a couple of two pounders yeah had a, I don't had tell a, me you've had a three as well i've had think. a three six from here actually oh that was one of your pbs wasn't it yeah so yeah I'm the only one that hasn't caught a three pounder <laughs> <laughs> Have you caught a three pounder? Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how many people have actually caught a three pound cruising. Yeah, if you bigger. have, all bigger, yeah, absolutely. If you have, put a comment down below because I'd be interested to, uh, to find out if I'm alone or if there's more in the need to catch a three pound yes. cruising club. Um, Jack Elliott, he's been out as well, catches some carp from his club lake. Yep. And um, he's also done a vlog as well, so check out Jack's yep. vlog as well. He's on Ticker Tocker as well. He is. Uh, again, Craig's been out in front of the Fox International cameras. He had a couple, didn't he? I suppose. He did. Yeah, <laughs> three thirties or something like that for the for the Fox cameras. Yeah, so he caught on demand with a, I think three mid thirty carp. I think he had. So, Mega. Yeah. All I look forward to solid bags. Look forward to seeing that one, mate. Yes, I think that's out later in the year, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Uh, as soon as it is, I'm sure we'll share a link in the community, and obviously it'll be across, you know, Fox's yeah. social media anyway, and on their YouTube channel. But uh, I look forward to getting some tips. Yeah. And um, Paul Brown put his run of blanks well and truly to an end. He did. Had a 29 and a 32, I believe. Yeah, it's been a right old struggle on there, hasn't it? It's, it's not an easy water he's fishing, no, though, is it? To be fair, either. Not many fish come out you know this time of the year anyway period yeah. um, but like you said you know uh, another angler again that works his um, socks off mate yeah. puts in the effort um, you know is, is speaking I, I, he, he had had a fish and I messaged him and I'm like oh you know well done you're going to put the rod back out and he's like no I'm like, it's like why not he's like because <laughs> it will spook him he's got like you know another two uh, rods on the money and you think well attention to detail you know he knows yeah. if he puts that rod back out he's going to blow his chances you know and he's had a second fish yeah so, yeah, you know, it's knowledge. Knowledge yeah. is power, just, mate. Just shows it works, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I just like, I get the rod back out, get the rod back out, get, you know, if yeah, you yeah. fish places like linear and stuff, you do that to get things. But when you're fishing for a lot more cagey fish, fewer and far between, you know, that that's the difference between catching one, two, or none. You yeah. know, we're putting them out at the wrong time. So, yeah. well done, Paul. And um, talking about strategic minded anglers, <clears throat> John McGough has well and truly made up for the three months um, layoff from the rivers. Absolutely. With a pair of pair of barbel. And when I say a pair of barbel, they're not just any barbel. There was a monster fourteen pound three, and um, John wasn't happy with that. And he got, you know, a Goliath fifteen pound four stunner as well. Fifteen pound four. I mean, I, I mean, both of those are fish of a lifetime for Definitely. some anglers, aren't they? Yeah. I still haven't had a double figured fish, but you know, I'd, just catching a barbel, I absolutely love it. But yeah. I mean, to catch a barbel of that size, that's something else, isn't it? Yeah, and he's had a number of chub to six pound, which is, you know, yeah. no small fish either. I was happy with those four pounders. We're catching, yeah. mate. That was a great day out. It definitely was. <laughs> I look forward to uh, getting back out on the river, mate. Yeah, but I think uh, John's back to work for a little bit, but I'm sure we'll be back out and... I would say poor Searching John, but again. he's just had two I monsters. I think he'd be all right, wouldn't he? <laughs> I think that makes it even worse, though, doesn't it? It makes you want to go back out there again. Oh, I suppose. But leave yeah. leave some for the rest, John. Leave some for the rest, mate. Fantastic. Well, like I said, we got his like Q and A that will go up on yes. our, our Dangling Days uh, YouTube channel, so check that out. And we are hoping we have been invited later on in the season to go out with him, haven't we? So definitely, this is something we'll definitely will, take a, take him up on. I think. Yeah. Do everything I can to absorb as much knowledge as possible, yeah. mate, and hopefully witness uh, another monster barbel. Yeah, learn from him as well, because you know he likes to he likes to mess around with baits and bits and pieces yeah. as well doesn't well, he's he he's mastered mastered the the craft doesn't he yeah. spent 30 years doing it and, and that you know you listen to him is, is very shallow very spooky yeah. fish so you know to catch fish like he's catching it's is... not quite like those commercials that i prefer mark no not just ping out some pellets <laughs> and it's one a chuck it's uh, the yeah, water's no. like coffee <laughs> <laughs> no it's yeah. um, awesome awesome stuff mate yeah excellent and i think final competition time steve another comp so halfway through the month i've lost track mark we posted a competition on the community page oh, we're announcing the winners yeah i'm with you 
So all you had to do was comment on the video to stand a chance of winning the £30 um, bait voucher we did. And we will join, we'll draw the two winners now. Yep. So For our little special wheel. The wheel. The wheel of fortune. <laughs> we'll come up with a better name. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, the lucky winners. Absolutely. Who is it, Mark? So, congratulations. Here we go. The, the wheel has told ding, us, ding, as ding, you've ding, seen. Ding, ding. So, congratulations to Gary and Scooby Steve. Well done, guys. So, please PM our Steve to get your prize. And we will get that sorted for you. Well done. So, Steve, that brings the latest episode of From the Bank to an end. Go so quick. It does. It's like one hit wonders. We're like pros yeah. at this now, Mark. So we've we, only taken 50 cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah at least. <laughs> we'll make it look good, or at least we'll I'll try. We'll try to, we'll polish it a little bit. So, you know, as always, we hope you enjoyed the content. And Absolutely. if there's anything you would like us to feature in future episodes, please yep. just drop us a message and we're more than happy to do so. We will do so, our best. Good luck for the coming month. If you're able to get on the bank, don't forget to join the Hinders Bay Community Group. Get involved. Yep, keep those updates coming for your chance to win free prizes. Yep. And um, we'll see you all in August. Hopefully for another action-packed month, mate. Yeah, and we'll um, we'll leave you with a few of our um, custom and promo teams catches that we couldn't mention in this in this vlog. So as always, because there's too many. What? Definitely. So much we'll, appreciated. And we will see you next month. Tight lines. Cheers. Cheers.